Today we have a really nice demo on how to adjust the valves on a tractor engine. Now this happens to be a Ford 3000. First, first thing we have to do is to get the engine to top dead center. And to do that on this tractor what we can do is we can access the nut on the end of the crankshaft pulley through this access hole right here. You'll need two long extensions and a one and an eighth inch socket. I'm going to slip the extensions through here. And then I'm going to fit the socket on by reaching through here. And it's all real easy to yes. And then I can engage, because that's all lined, I can engage the nut there. And I use a ratchet wrench. And we can set the, uh, we can rotate the engine clockwise normally, counterclockwise is backwards. So avoid backward if you can, but counterclockwise is okay at times. So we'll just rotate the engine using this until we get to top dead center. And let me show you this. Books are real vague about how to find the top dead center marks, but it's on the flywheel. It's at the rear of the engine on this tractor and on most tractors. There's a little access hole here. You can see the flywheel there and you can see the marks on there. You should see two degrees, four degrees, six degrees, and then zero degrees to know that you are at top dead center. And what hole is it? Can you point to it? And it's this, this elongated hole. It's the access hole. And there's a little arrow at the top that shows where your mark should be. All right, thank you. Okay, I will. Okay, now we've rotated the engine to top dead center, and at that point, these two valves are loose. They are fully closed, and these two valves, these two valves are on the first cylinder, and these two valves here, an exhaust and an intake, are also fully closed. So we can set all four of these valves at once without moving it, which we will do. What you can do by putting your fuel gauge in here. And let's see now, we're looking for, oh, on this tractor, 17 thousandths is the setting for the intake and 21 thousandths is the setting for the exhaust. So I'm going to slip a, slip a filler gauge in here. I'm at 15 right now. If I need to adjust it, I just adjust it on these adjuster nuts on the tappets. And, and how do I adjust the other valves, Tim? The exhaust. How do I adjust the other valves that are closed right now? And then I have to rotate 180 degrees until I get top dead center 180 degrees from now. And then these will be loose. These will be fully closed. And I can adjust these two. All right. That is simple dimple. Yes. We can do that in less than five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> or, or more.